Here is a geometric drawings of dimensions, 0 to 60. After I do the dimensional calculation, stick around as I explain why the mini world theory multiverse is far larger. Also I'll be scaling finite characters to dimensions. Let's talk dimensions, but I need to set up how this video is going to work. Borrowing an idea from a different video, that you'll see at the end, I can use sliders to represent the dimensions of an object, with one end being 0 and the other being 1. This can be done in such a way to show off the first dimension and even the second dimension. This limit to where most can follow is the third dimension which is like this. While this is true the other dimensions exist but are set to zero. If you were to reduce the 3D axis the object goes 2D. Now I've got to tell you something that has been exaggerated in this video. The minimum scale isn't zero, it's a little bigger. When thinking about what makes up everything, most common thought is atoms, protons, neutrons and electrons, fundamental particles and quarks. In actual string theory the smallest thing is actually fundamental strings, hence the name. Why is this relevant? Simple a 3D universe on the 4D axis looks like this. 4D universe looks like this. This makes a 4D universe 2.71 times 10 to the 61 3D universes, or about this much larger than a 3D universe. In fact, this jump between 3D and 4D is the same with 4D and 5D, 5D and 6D etc. However this isn't the correct answer, yet. When comparing the dimensions we need to compare the constructs and fundamental laws of each construct things like the inverse square law in the third dimension is now the inverse cube law in the fourth dimension. So, after redefining the equations for both gravitational binding energy and inverse square law to fit any dimensions, I create a massive Excel spreadsheet to show all my results. Here.
Okay, so, the table broke at the seventh dimension. What I can tell you is that when going up through dimensions, the multiplies for destroying all planets and massive black holes is 3.035 times 10 to the 52 times larger or about this. Here are the results of energy needed to destroy dimensions of each size. 3D Universe 3.3076 times 10 to the 103 joules. 4D Universe 9.5923 times 10 to the 155 joules. 5D Universe 2.782 times 10 to the 208 joules. 6D Universe 8.0683 times 10 to the 260 joules. 7D Universe 2.4486 times 10 to the 313 joules. 8D Universe 7.4310 times 10 to the 365 joules. 9D Universe 2.2552 times 10 to the 418 joules. Let's also define low, mid and high in dimensional terms. The jump between dimensions is 3.035 times 10 to the 52. I think this should work. Low equals 1 to 3.11 times 10 to the 17. Mid equals 3.11 times 10 to the 17 to 9.65 times 10 to the 34. High equals 9.65 times 10 to the 34 to 3.035 times 10 to the 52. Now let's do the mini world theory multiverse. This multiverse model can be bound by dimensions, meaning their limit is their dimensionality. However, it generally isn't bound by dimensions and has every possibility, happen every instant. To see the number of possibilities every instant I went to big number website, also know as Googology Wiki. Here in the Promaxima describes the number of possibilities is outlined to be 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 185. There is also mention to the number of possibilities created by our universe in this page, however, this number didn't account for how each new universe has its own possibilities. This makes the first Planck instant equivalent to, 1.63 times 10 to the 185 dimension, that looks like this. Let's keep it looking like this. Now understand that the universe has an age of 13.8 billion years or about 2.28 times 10 to the 60 Planck instances. Each universe made in many world theory creates all its possibilities. Meaning currently there would be 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 421 Novembicillion. Or what looks better 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 62.625. Let's just call it infinite dimensional, my calculator does. Now let's scale fictional characters to dimensions. Link to those videos here. Infinity Jaeger would be mid 60. Superman Prime 10 billion would be mid 3 trillion 215 billion 63 million 224,113 d. Steve would be high 12 d. How about some of my videos? Super Saiyan God Goku Battle of God's Arc, low 4 d. Hit, Universe 6 Arc, mid 4 d. Janemba surprisingly high 4D. In my 100 year time skip Goku video, I was contemplating his tier, I feel mid 6D fits. One of Yugi's stronger monsters, low 2694D. Thank you for watching. Next video, attack potency tiering explained, speed tiering explained. 
Check out these videos on dimensions, they're really good and they really teach you more than I can.